Welcome back to Peace, Love and Tarot. This reading is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon Rising, and it's the weekly reading for November 25th to December the 1st. Capricorn, we have the beautiful Imrama Oracle card for you. The Three of Wands, the Seven of Swords, Strength, Four of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Queen of Swords with another card behind there as well. So pretty significant reading. You have a few major arcana here and powerful cards at that. I always um, notice that <laughs> it's a common occurrence that the Strength card and the, the Seven of Swords come out together, definitely in my reading. So um, interesting, it's happened again here. You know, we have you moving on from a situation that might have been quite difficult. There might have been some deception, that sort of thing. This is definitely about you stepping into your power, starting to walk a new path. You know, it might be the road less traveled, I'm feeling. And definitely stepping into your power as that co-creator of a brand new beginning with the universe. So I love this energy, Capricorn. Um, you're definitely moving on to bigger and better and brighter times. So... It's going to start off by reading out that oracle card for you, Imrama. Where are you being called to journey to? The Celtic word Imrama means a journey of the soul, a voyage on which we don't know where we're going, but our soul knows the way. Very much the full energy that. If you pulled this card, you are either being called on a soul journey or you're already on one. Uh, we, when we journey to places that our soul remembers, a shift takes place, both within us and to the planet as well. You're being called to journey to a place that is sacred to your soul. Yeah, interesting. I'm going to read just that amount there. Definitely being called to change directions, to journey to a place that is aligned with your soul and that's going to bring you to, you know, your best life, to your next chapter. Especially after a time where I feel that maybe you weren't so much on your path or aligned with your soul voyage here, Capricorn. You know, we have that Seven of Swords and we have the um, Four of Pentacles. So, you know, this is kind of that energy of, yeah, it can, it can be a deception, like someone, you know, taking something for, from you or lying or deception or that sort of thing. But what I'm feeling with that Four of Pentacles um, linked to it is you've been in a situation that um, definitely took your personal power or devalued you in some way. So something could have affected your self-worth your self-esteem, the way you see yourself, potentially your body image, um, how you feel about yourself intellectually, that kind of energy, which, um, yeah, sorry guys, it's not it's not nice to be in that, but, um, you know, that four of pentacles can talk about, you know, value, you know, personal value, um, yeah, that kind of thing, and maybe you felt like you were in a a bit of a, you know, a bit of a, a, a period in the desert of scarcity, um, yeah, maybe somebody did bring bring you down to a point where you felt like you couldn't really um, get out there and work to your fullest potential. That could have impacted your, your financial um, earning ability as well. So, you know, it's really important that we step away from situations like this, release people or situations that may make us feel like that. You know, anyone that does undermine us, undermine us whether that is conscious or subconscious, um, it's not the kind of behavior that we want to be around because over time that erodes your energy. It, it decreases or um, it decreases your vibration. And when we're in that, um, you know, lowered vibrational state, that's when we sort of start getting that five of pentacles reality, which is a lack mindset, you know, um, doubt breeding doubt, fear breeding fear, um, scarcity, all of those kind of things. So we really want to, to stop this now and... So yeah, basically walk away. It's a general reading, guys. You'll know what it is for you, but it's a situation that has definitely been bringing you down, making you feel a sense of lack. You could actually um, suspect that someone's doing it on purpose, but it's just not the not the kind of energy that you that you want to be around. So, focus energies this week. We have the strength card and the three of wands. Yeah. So this just says very clearly to me, Capricorn. It's about you having that strength and courage to walk away, to leave the situation, to, to you know, block it, to put up your energetic boundaries and have the strength to start walking a new path, right? And, you know, the new path here with that three of wands, I feel that this week is the week that you will turn your back on whatever this energy is. You might not be, you know, taking the, the first steps yet, but just that turning of the back 
and not looking back in the past is a brilliant first step because this person here, who is actually the young emperor, is not concerned at all with happen what's happening behind him. He is firmly focused on the horizon and he can see these ships, these ships of success, of achievement, of new beginning on that horizon and they may not come in right now. But by gosh, he knows that they're going to come in in his next chapter because he's done the work. He's, you know, put himself in a better uh, position by leaving situations that don't serve. And, you know, it's about manifesting something new. This is the beginnings of manifestation. Number three, three of wands, beginning of taking new action. And then we can just obviously see that is going to burst in the near future with that magician energy. But yeah, the strength card, you know, it can talk about overcoming our inner demons. And, you know, this is what the situation might have brought to the surface. Your inner demons, your insecurities, maybe a sense of victim mentality. But, you know, we really want to coax these back into balance. And once we are back into balance, that's when we realize our infinite potential and that we can go anywhere with our lives. We just have to set our mind to it. So, you know, Strength Card can talk about balancing the equal and opposite um, emotions or feelings. So, for example, if you have any anger or resent that you might be harboring from this situation or a previous one, then we would meet that with forgiveness and compassion. And that's how we coax, you know, our inner demons represented by this line here back into balance, back under control, so that we can begin to take action and move forward into a direction that's really, really going to serve you in the long run. Yeah, okay. So look what we have here, guys, because this is the most exciting part of the reading. We've got the Magician, we've got the Queen of Swords, and look what's behind her. The Fool. <laughs> Beautiful. Right. So um, I'll probably deal with that Queen of Swords first. Yeah. No, actually, let's go like this. Okay, so the Queen of Swords for me is about you having that clarity, you know, that forward vision of finally being able to, you know, evaluate what you truly want for your life and starting to make that happen with the Magician energy. The Queen of Swords, what I also love in this particular reading, she is about, you know, she knows how to set firm boundaries for herself. She wouldn't be letting in this kind of energy. She can also use that sort of victory to cut herself free from the energy that cords from the binds of any past situations that aren't serving her and she knows that by releasing those energies you know releasing those energies she creates space for the new but she also starts transforming her energy you can see that by the butterfly crown there that she wears she is transforming her energy little by little as she releases the past as she tames you know works with that strength energy to chain inner demons. You know, she is, um, yeah, she's transforming herself and she's getting herself in a better energetic state. And then we have this magician energy, which is your reminder, Capricorn, that you have all the tools that you need to create a truly abundant future for yourself. And really, it's just as big as your, your will, you know? Um, the magician also talks about, you know, as within, so without, you know, as above, as below, sorry, as below, as above, whatever it is, <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, what that's talking about is that basically our external world is a reflection of our internal world. So it's all about doing the work with that Queen of Swords energy, evoking her to do that transformative work because when we really get in a good place on the inside, when we're balanced, that's when you know we start to attract like experiences to us that are going to match that. And that's how we go through that manifestation process. Again, you know, we have that infinity sign. You realizing your infinite power and potential as the co-creator of your reality with the universe. This is you coming back into, a, into your power after a period of time where I feel like you really weren't so much in your power. So that's really beautiful. And then to top off the reading, as the finisher, here is that new journey. You know, if this three of wands was you turning your back on past, on past experiences and situations, relationships, jobs, whatever it is for you in this particular reading, if that was you taking 
that moment to turn your back in the near future this is when you start to walk the new path you start to walk you know you start to walk to where you're being called to journey to um, in the full you know as we heard in the oracle card is about trusting the journey having the strength and courage to take that initial leap of faith start walking the path even though even though we don't know where the final destination may be we don't know where we're being led yes there'll be other challenges and mountains to scale along the way but we're not concerned with that because we know that it is divine timing we know it's the right time we know we're being guided to walk this path and the reminder is to make you know calculated instinctual decisions as you walk this path so that you keep a sure you know solid footing again we have that symbol here of alchemy with that white flower saying there's growth there's transformation to be had by connecting with your rebel heart you know coming back to yourself and truly walking your own journey not somebody else's this is a fresh new beginning a fresh new beginning as we wrap up this decade we wrap up this 10 year cycle in just a matter of weeks this full card I'm finding is just everywhere. So many of us are clearing our slate and really starting fresh with our head held high. And um, yeah, it's just a beautiful energy. Take the just the limited belongings, leave the past in the past. That's all gone now. You're being divinely guided to walk a road less traveled. Capricorn, I'm going to leave it there. It's great energies. I really love where you're moving into. Just trust the process. Have faith. Take the leap if a new pathway is opening up to you. So keep in mind it's a general reading, guys. It won't be for every Capricorn. Feel free to leave me a comment. I always love to know how these um, things are playing out in your daily lives. And I'll see you back here next week for another reading.